Hey family, so I'm back on the road. Haven't gone shopping in a long time, which is strange because when I go off the road, I go shopping. So I don't really have much vegetables. I don't have much food. I got some interesting stuff. Check it out. Let's go. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So I'm gonna make this quick cause I did something stupid like delete all my music off of my drive on this phone. Well, we'll get it back. So this is some kale. I'm cutting up real small, you know, real thin. That's like the only real vegetable I got in here. Yeah, we gonna make it work. And uh, got some garlic. And I'm gonna chop that up real quick. Kind of fine. La la la. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Yep. Get it out the way. Come on. Get it out the way. And I got some turkey chorizo sausage. I'm going to cut that up kind of thin too. Yep. What am I making? Uh mess of my life uh other than that oh oh you'll see you'll see it's gonna be good uh chop that up fine get it out the way get my wok and another pot <coughs> excuse me had some hot water put it in the pot in the back get my sweet potato pasta that i love with some seafood put that in the pot with the hot water the one that's not on the heat turn the heat or my wok on and uh, uh, put some olive oil into the wok. And, uh, I'm gonna put my turkey chorizo in the pot and cook that up a little bit because it's raw, you know. So you gotta you gotta cook your turkey a little bit. I don't want me to get some kind of food poison up in here. I've done stranger things to myself. I've done strange things today. Hey, check your pasta. Make sure it's not sticking. Move your sausage around. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And after you think your sausage is kind of cooked up a little good, I put a little of this um, chili garlic sauce in there. That's a forkful. Teaspoon amount full. Put my kale in. Let that get some heat on there. The oil from the chorizo and the, the olive oil. Just to stew that down. I put a little Worcestershire, a little soy sauce. Just a dash of each. Uh, and that was some um, anchovy paste. Good stuff. It's not going to taste like anchovies, but it's good in the background. I put my garlic in. Now everything's smelling up wonderful. And after I put my garlic in, I had a couple of shrimp. Put those in. Let them get some heat on them. And my heat is up to like a medium, medium high. Not too high, more medium. Don't want my shrimp to cook too fast. And I had some king crab knuckles, three of them. Put them in the pot too. They are absolutely frozen. So I put them in the pot now, let them get warm, put some tomato sauce on top of that, a little dash of the hot water from my noodles, and then I uh, put the top on, let it steam up a little bit, you stir it every now and then just to make sure, make sure everything's not burning, everything's doing well, add a little black pepper, I didn't put any salt in this dish at all. That anchovy paste is a little salty, you know, that helped. And cover it, let it steam up. 
when you think it's nice and hot, take your pasta that's al dente, you put it into the pot with the marinara sauce, stir it around, let that get kind of hot. Yep, like I said, this is going to be quick and easy, but it's delicious. And once you know that's hot, get your bowl out, uh, serve it up. Yeah, you get your real bowls so these uh, paper plate police don't get me. Uh, put the pasta down. Put my crab knuckles. Put the rest of the marinara on top. Mix it up just a little bit so you can see what's there. And bam! There you go. Dinner. <laughs> now I got to work on getting this music back on my phone, which could take hours. Uh, oh, well. Life goes on.